Hey everybody, this is Praxis. Today is a big day because I'm going to be starting to cut the holes through the foundation for getting air into the air exchanger for the whole house. Uh, if you recall from, I think, an earlier video, I mentioned that I was trying to get someone to cut the holes in the foundation. I'd had someone cut a hole in the past for the uh, radon, uh, being a, the, the radon mitigation system. It was a five inch hole. They charged me 250 bucks for the day to come down, cut the hole and everything. This time I need two holes right next to each other over here. And the new price quote was $600 to get it done. Uh, which I felt was kind of hosing me on the price because they're gonna be right here. They just gotta cut two of them. And uh, it just felt like, you know, it's nearly triple the price for not even double the work. And uh, you know, I felt like that was pretty unfair. So I wasn't liking that, but I was almost going to just swallow it, except that the amount of work that they were requiring for me to do to prep the site for them was so much that it seemed to me that it would actually be less work for me to just do all the work myself versus having to prepare the site to, you know, the specs that they wanted it prepared to. And then on top of that, I'd have to pay them $600. So what I ended up doing is I decided I'm going to DIY it. And I've never done this before. We're going to see how it works. I bought this coring bit here. There's a diamond coring bit. Uh, this here was $250 for this section. And then this adapter piece here that uh, converts it to, I think, SDS Plus, which is what this uh, drill uses. Uh, that was another 100 bucks. So from here over is $350. I already own this uh, unit here. So for $350, I'm going to be able to do both of them, hopefully, and I'll still have the tools afterwards if I ever need to do it again. This is kind of stretching it because this bit is only 9 inches. There's 10 inches of concrete. I'm going to have to like cut in and then kind of hammer through some of it to get it out of the way and then keep going through. Uh, this driver is probably, you know, barely adequate for it. So I'm straining uh, the... Um, the limits of what's possible here, but I think it's a good idea just because it's going to save me so much work in terms of having to prep the site. They wanted me to rip all the foam off the foundation, all the lath off the foundation, and then I'd have to like put it all back later. It would have been an enormous amount of work. This is an impact driver, and I'm not having it on the impact driving setting, just on the uh, just on the spinning. So I've got the impact turned off. If you ever do this with a diamond bit, you don't want to have the, uh, the impact turned on. This is the site over here where I'm going to be working. I've kind of prepped it. There's one hole that needs to go through right here. There's another hole that needs to go through here. This one goes directly into the unit. This one, there's going to be a 90 degree coming out of the unit going in there. This one goes outside several feet underground. This one goes into the greenhouse. I've got this board up on the wall here, which I cut to be a, um, uh, uh, the, like the profile of the coring bit. Uh, that's so I have something to kind of guide me as I go in. When that thing spins around, it would just want to dance all over the wall. I think it would probably make for amusing video, but I wouldn't, it wouldn't be very effective. So this thing is going to kind of guide me in. I'm going to have to go slow. I'm going to have to go steady. Take a little bit out, pull it out. Take a little bit out, pull it out. It's going to take me probably... I don't know, this could take days uh, of me like doing it for a little bit and then stopping, doing it for a little bit and then stopping. Uh, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. I'm going to have the tools. I didn't have to rip off all the things on the foundation outside. I'm going to cut this video roll and uh, you'll get to see me try this for the first time. I've never done this before, uh, but uh, I don't want to run out of film before, uh, uh, before I'm done here. So uh, let's see how this thing actually works out. Okay, so we're in here. You'll also notice I've got a drop cloth all around here. This is going to be very dusty. I'm in the pantry. I don't want to throw dust up everywhere. I'm also going to be wearing a respirator. I already got it up here. Uh, you know, I know I should be just manning up and getting that silicone into my lungs and just stopping the cancer that it would form just through uh, manly machismo. Apparently I don't have enough of it. So I am going to be wearing a respirator. Uh, maybe safety glasses also, but I'm going to go commando for this video just so I can kind of talk. Uh, but certainly once this gets going, I think I need to... Uh, Definitely have some safety stuff on. So I've got this here. I'm gonna just very lightly kind of start working it into, into the hole there. I wish that I could uh, control the speed on this, maybe have it go a little slower. Um, as far as I know, I cannot. Should, should have checked that earlier. No, I mean, there's no speed controls on here. Well, let's see how it goes. Here we go. I have to, there we go. I think the battery might be a little low here. I think the battery on this might be a little bit low. Let's see, what am I seeing so far? I am seeing cutting happening though, so that's good. Let's keep trying. 
Okay, you know, let's do another video roll with this where I actually have a battery that's functional. That would uh, that'd probably make it more interesting. Okay, new battery on here. Uh, we also might be getting some friction on the wood itself, but once I get through, the, uh, the teeth of this are a little bit uh, wider than the rest of the shaft, so once I get through, that friction will be over. Let's see. You know what? I don't think it's the battery so much. I think that this thing just, uh, it, it, it's lacking the oomph to make this happen. Um, but, I, you know, it's not a big deal because I am slowly getting through. I'm like through by like two millimeters so far. And there's only 10 inches left to go. So it's just a matter of this. For a long time. I, I, should have, I have hearing protection ready to go on me as well. But, um, yeah, this is going to work. I mean, a short controlled burst is fine by me anyway, just like this. Yeah, I can live with that. I think this is going to work. I can definitely smell the uh, silica in the air, though. And I'm glad I got this drop cloth. It's catching a lot of stuff. So, I mean, this is going to be... This is going to be a few days. Uh, the one trick is I have to make sure when I do get to the outside of this, I don't do it on a day that's rainy because otherwise water will come off the back side of the roof and come right through this hole. So once they start getting close, I need to make sure we got dry forecasts outside. That's it. Thanks for watching.